Magandang araw mga kagako sa Itachi. Isa na namang new no sa Katsu Tips ang ating i-discuss today. And we are going to focus on Japan Multi-City Travel Guide. Though hindi naman lahat ay um, madidiscuss, but I'm going to give you some points, no, some um, locations, some um, places that you can visit kapag nasa Japan na kayo. Okay? So without further ado, let's dive deeper. Okay, first, syempre, kapag magta-travel ka or magbabakasyon ka, mas maigi kung ikaw ay walang pasok or yasumi mo yon Sa Japan, meron silang tinatawag na Golden Week and ito ay sinabing golden kasi sunod-sunod ang naging um, continuity ng holidays nila. This is basically from end of April to beginning of May, from Showa Day to Constitution Memorial Day, Greenery Day, hanggang sa Children's Day. Pumatak siya ng uh, uh, kasunod ay weekend, so that's why naging continuous ang holiday. Normally, isinasubstitute talaga ang public holidays kapag tumatapat siya ng weekend. So, so kaya tinawag siya ng Golden Week kasi dire-diretso isang linggo. And normally, ang mga workers, ang mga employees ay umuuwi sa kanilang provinces to celebrate Golden Week with their families. So from Tokyo, um, sa umuwi sila. So medyo nagiging um, payapa no? kung tutuusin ang Tokyo kasi kumukonti yung tao during Golden Week. Aside from that, meron din silang Silver Week which is naman in September. Silver Week siya so hindi siya ganun kahaba kagaya ng Golden Week sometimes um two to three days lang. Ito kasi ay naging sunod-sunod na holiday ng respect for the aged day. Meron pang um, Otomal Equinox Day and then ang iba pang public holidays uh, before and after that. So there is actually a law that if there is one day between these two holidays, this day will also be a public holiday. So, ayun. So, meron tayong aabagan na Golden Week and Silver Week. Golden Week every May and Silver Week will be in September. So, ito yung mga chances na kung ikaw ay workers or employees sa Japan, dito ka na magpa-plot ng iyong mga pupuntahan or plans or yote. Next, so, saan na ideal pumunta kung ikaw ay mahilig sa... Um, theme parks. Okay, so sa Japan mayroong Tokyo Disney Resort which is located in Orayasu City, Chiba. And the other one naman is, yeah, Disney Resort. So this is Disneyland and Disney Sea. So pag sinabi mong Tokyo Disney Resort, dalawa siya. So Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. Actually, um, halos isang place lang sila. Magkaiba lang sila ng entrance. Okay, both is nasa Orayasu City ng Chiba Prefecture. So kung mahilig ka sa mga theme parks, uh, may mga fantasy land, mga symbolic Cinderella Castle, so this is for you. Um, but this DC, however, is is also a theme park but it's more like adult kasi meron siyang, at bukod sa mga attractions, meron din siyang mga rides no, na pang adult. Unlike Disneyland, sobrang kodomopoy or pabata talaga siya. Okay? So, um, dahil laging madaming tao, so kailangan uh, bumili ka na prior, no? ahead of time no, yung ticket. So, meron ka nang mabibili online. Okay, next, Shinkansen. Lagi natin pinag-uusapan ng Shinkansen. This is bullet train and this is high speed that connects Japan cities. So, it actually travels at speeds of 250 to 300 km an hour. And that is so fast. Okay, so by using Shinkansen, you can travel from Tokyo to Kyoto in almost 2 hours and 20 minutes lang. So napakalaking um, kaibahan if you're going to travel um, via bus or um, your own car. Okay, so the Shinkansen timetable is managed in seconds and the average delay time is just 24 seconds. So it's very quiet and comfortable inside the train. Okay, You can sometimes buy drinks and meal boxes from staff with shopping carts on the train. So ito yung hitsura ng loob ng Shinkansen. So you can um, 
basically watch the scenery, no? E enjoy yung scenery while inside the train. Okay? So, ito yung line na Shinkansen. Kung mapapansin nyo, from north to south talaga ang linya ng Shinkansen. Okay? Since archip archipelago ang kanilang bansa, no? Marami silang islands. So, talagang ikinunek nila ang kanilang Shinkansen. Okay? Ja, if you're a fan of Mount Fuji and you wanted to climb Mount Fuji, so alaman mo na this is the highest mountain in Japan. It's iconic in its uh, sense and it uh, the height is 3,776 meters. It's the highest. Um, the regular people can actually climb Mount Fuji during summer. That is July and August. However, pinoprohibit na um yeah other months hindi ka naman pwedeng um akyatin na yon so july and august will be ideal uh, months for you to climb mount fuji and when you reach the summit that's actually 20 degrees colder than on the flat land so be sure na you uh bring something with you na medyo makapal na, na damit or may pang pang ano ka sa ginaw kasi really it's it's colder kahit na siya ay summer Okay, so um, we are discouraging everyone to wear t-shirts and shorts kahit na mainit no, from, ano, no, from the land. Okay, so ano ba ang ating ma-expect sa Mount Fuji? So meron siyang actually shrine at the summit of it and that surprisingly maraming mga foreigners talaga ang nagugulat because they can see post office, they have toilets, they have vending machines at the summit. Okay, the highest point of Mount Fuji is Kengamine. So it's a 30-minute walk from the shrine at the summit along the crater. So if you do not reach Kengamine, you cannot say that you have reached the highest point of Japan. Okay, so if you're a fan of a Japanese animation like Doraemon, Kimi no Nawa, okay, so maraming, um, of course, alam natin na Japan is the original publisher of this anime from manga to anime and maraming mga anime fanatics and aficionados ang um, nagpipilgrimage they call it sa mga lugar kung saan ginawa no, itong mga anime na to like yung Suga, uh, yeah, Suga Shrine which is uh, located in Yotsuya Shinjuku wherein naging famous siya because of the Kimi no Nawa so, if you're a fan, you can visit there kapag nagpunta ka na sa Japan. Okay, so dahil si Doraemon is also one of our um, mainstream or favorite natin siya. So, Dorayaki is his favorite um, ito, snack. Okay, ang itsura niya is this. And it's a Japanese snack made of angko. Meron siyang sweet bean paste sa loob that is sandwiched between two round castella-like cakes. So, nakilala siya because of Doraemon. Dorayaki ang tawag sa kanya. Okay? And if you happen to be in Yokohama City in Kanagawa Prefecture, which is the second most populated city in Japan after Tokyo, so napakaganda ng Yokohama and there are a lot of um, scenic spots or sightseeing spot that you can enjoy. Since ang Yokohama is near the port, you can take a cruise on a boat or take a walk in the park and you can enjoy Yokohama at your own pace. So meron sila ngayong newly developed na Minato Mirai 21. Ayan, napakaganda. And the Yokohama Chinatown, one of the oldest Chinatowns in the world. So you can also visit that one. Okay, so you enjoy Yokohama. And since Japan is um, rich, it's a country rich when it comes to hot springs. So marami sa kanila mga hot, hot springs kagaya nito. When you say Beppu Onsen kasi it's like a hot spring outside. So you can um, invite your family, invite your friends no, na um, enjoy um, sightseeing at the same time no, you are doing um, of course your rituals, no, your bathing no, with the nature. Okay, so that is hot springs. So, meron ding hot springs kapag winter, as you can see here, parang ang sarap-sarap niyang um, gawin or experience. And meron tayong bathing etiquette if that is your first time to do onsen or to use onsen, of course. Uh, when you enter a hot spring, normally wala tayong saplot. So, we're all naked 
when you enter the hot spring without any uh, so you enter the hot spring without any clothes at all and then before entering the bath no kung bago ka lumublob you need to wash your body at the washing area outside the bathtub meron dong shower area then you do not soak your towel in the bath as, as much as possible try not to soak your hair also in the bath kasi masyado siyang mainit no para sa ulo mo Now, if the water is too hot and you cannot enter the bath because the water is really is too hot for you, you can ask the people around you if it is fine to add cold water. But it is rude to just add cold water without asking them first. Kasi syempre, this is a common space. So dapat mag-display tayo ng a little a bit of respect dun sa mga kasama natin sa loob. No photographs. Wala pong photograph na allowed inside. So you need to follow the rules and it is clearly written na naman that cameras are not allowed. Okay? When you get out of the bath, you dry yourself with a towel before entering the changing room. And of course, be careful. Do not stay too long in the bath as you may feel dizzy. Masyadong mataas ang temperature nito to the point na talaga nakakahilo siya. Na kung hindi mo siya kaya, you can like... um. Um, soak for like five minutes and then go up for another five minutes and then soak ulit. So kung hindi mo talaga kakayanin yung init niya. Okay? So that is all for today for our Nihongo Nosei Katsu Tips. Minasang, I hope you learned something today. Okay, bye!